Hello. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. So, this is gonna be a super long video, so I'm just gonna try to make the intro as short as possible. I'm gonna be cleaning out this mess today. The plan. I'm gonna have a couple of different piles on the floor. First, I'll have a keep pile. Second, I'm gonna do an altar pile. So clothes that I have, but I don't wear or won't wear, but have an idea of something that I can do to it, like a thrift flip or like a clothing flip. And then a donate pile. And then a sell pile, like a depop pile. I'm gonna start with this side of my closet. try to sell this it's like a vest this i need to wear more i completely forgot i had this i'm gonna keep i know i don't need it and i will most likely never wear it but i'm gonna keep it okay this is the same thing a vest but puppies like i'm keeping it this i got at a vintage store i like it but i don't wear it okay fine i'll try to sell it i don't really wear baby tees i think i'm gonna sell this this i made in my last video is really embarrassing this is another baby tee, but it has Bart and he's on a skateboard and I want to take a picture of myself like copying him so I'm gonna keep it. Plain black. It's v-neck though and I don't like v-necks because I don't have boobs so I'm gonna donate this. Just a vintage crop tee. Man, I love Elton John but I don't wear tees so I'm gonna donate it. Plain white baby tee. It's good for like basic fits I guess so I'm gonna keep it for now. Oh, mock neck baby tee. <clears throat> Fine, I'll keep it. I've been telling myself I need to get more basics, so I... Stranger Things Starport Mall tea? Kinda cute, it matches my makeup. I'm gonna keep it. I just got this, it's really cute. I never dress up though, but I got it because I wanna, I wanna like, be hot, but... I'm gonna keep it because I've never worn it. I bought this just to go under her necks, so I'm gonna keep it because I kinda need that. This is kinda cute, but I don't wear it, so I'm gonna sell it. This is just like a plain gray bl bl blandy Melville buddy. I never wear it, but like it's a good basic to have, so I'm gonna keep it. This is cute. It's a little vintage like Christmas tea. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. This, I don't know why I have it. I'm gonna crop it and keep it. So alter, baseball tea. I know I said I need basics, but like it's, it's boring, so donate it. This I just got. I want to crop it. I still don't need to, but I'm gonna, so. And then this I just got too. I think it's cute. It'll be nice for like relaxing and stuff. So I'm gonna keep it. This I also just got. I think it's so adorable. I love it so much and I'm definitely keeping that one. I have two of these. I want to keep only one of them and I like the black one because it's more versatile, but orange is my favorite color, so for sure keeping the black one. I'm gonna sell that. This is super cute. I want to wear it more. I'll keep it. Another Harley Davidson one. Wow. Uh, on the back at least it's the same graphic as the black one so i'm gonna sell it because i already kind of have something like it this is just another basic keep it's like three quarter sleeves and it's not cute so i'm gonna sell, uh donate it okay i always mean to wear this i got it at a vintage shop in the cities but i don't wear it and i won't wear it so i think i'm gonna sell it this is so cute i went through a phase where like i wanted to wear all black clothing and i still like I need to stop talking so much, I'm sorry, but I still like that. But as of right now, my style is a little bit of everything. I can't force myself to pinpoint a style, so I'm kind of everything. I'm keeping this because I really like it, but I don't know why I felt the need to say that. This I bought just so I could turn it into like a little cardigan, so I'm gonna alter that. I really like this sweater because the colors, those are that's like my favorite color combo, purple, blue, and pink, and it fits me really well, so I'm gonna keep it. This I literally just got. It's like Harley Davidson. Really cute thermal, but I know that I won't wear it. It's super cute though. I'm gonna sell it. This is just another black long sleeve. Pyrokinesis, really cute. Got the flames down the sleeve and I'm gonna keep it. I also just got this. It's like a cute little yellow cardigan. I'm gonna sell it. Ah, oh, but I just got it. Okay, I'm gonna sell it. I would get rid of it, but I kind of need clothes to wear to work. So I'm gonna keep all my turtlenecks, probably just disclaimer. This I love so much. I've literally already worn it so much, but it's like, the design is just so cute. So gotta keep that. Really cute. Want to find a way to wear it. I don't really like, like big cardigans that much, but keep. It's really cute. Super grandma-like. I think I have an idea for this. So I'm going to put it in the altar pile. This I already altered. <laughs> it's just a, cramp a crampian. Crampian top. I gave it a cinch waist. I love doing that. I'm going to definitely do that more. 
I love this. It's a safari tee. I've already worn it twice, but like I want to keep it because it's like so cute. I've worn this twice as well. So hard to wear. I want to keep trying and I might like crop it or do something with it. But for now, I'm just going to put it in the key pile. And then this, I think I bought it like specifically to alter it, but I haven't yet. It's so cute. I'll probably give it like a cinch waist or like something like that. So alter pile. If this is so cute, <laughs> like I can't get rid of it. There's puppies on it. This is also cute. I got it at a vintage store. Definitely a keep. This I need for work. I've been really into Argyle lately. I know everyone has, but like, it's really cute and I'm gonna keep that. This, I th also, I think about it to alter it. Don't really have an idea for it, but I'm gonna put it in the alter pile anyway. I think I'm gonna alter this one too. A good, cute, basic for work. Work. I love this one. It's so comfy. Cute. I don't need it. Donate. This. I've been trying to figure out for so long how to wear it. It's like so cute. It's like one of the, it's not Express, it's Paris Sport Club, but it's kind of like the like vintage Express crochet thingies. And one day I'll figure out how to wear it. So I gotta keep it. This I love. It's just tiger print, cute. Also been trying to figure out how to wear this. It's so cute. It's like a color block, gonna keep. I love this. I got it at a vintage store. It's so like 70s and cool. It's kind of like shiny. It's a sweater, it's really cute. Keep. This has been on my Depop before and I keep taking it off because it's so cute. It's a teddy bear and in the back, it's the back of a teddy bear. I so don't need it. I'm gonna keep it. Vintage store find, just a wool sweater. It's so cute. I don't really want to ruin it, but I think I want to turn it either into a sweater vest or like crop it, kind of like those things on Urban Renewal. I'm gonna put it in the altar pile. I don't really fancy it that much. I could crop it and I will. I need to stop saying that, but it's the truth. Another vintage sweater. I really like the color combo, so I'm gonna keep that. My teddy bear sweater, I have to keep it, it's so cute. This I got at Target, and the day after I ripped a hole in it and it sat in my sewing box for an entire year, I finally patched it up and now I don't wear it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it. I love this too. I don't own much green, so it's like super cool and good for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, keeping. Work, good basic. I wanted to go here so bad and then I didn't apply, so I suck, but I'm gonna keep this. Good basic. Fishy. How cute is that? Like, I need to wear this more. This is sick, but it's so cute, so I'll keep. These two, definitely keeping. I wore this one yesterday and I thought, amazing. This is my favorite. I wear this year round. I love Halloween and I love Halloween sweaters, so I'm gonna keep this. It's so cute and it's fleecy. I think that someone else could enjoy it a little more than me, so I'm gonna sell this. Same with this. It's super cute, but I think that someone else could enjoy it, so sell. I bought this because it reminded me of all those ads that you see for Zafu with that, um, the brown plaid fuzzy, you know what I'm talking about? I hope. Uh, but it's not my style, so I'm gonna sell that. Probably gonna keep most of my hoodies because I love hoodies, but this is just a yellow champion. <laughs> this is an impulse buy. Maybe I could cinch waist it, so I guess I'll alter that. I have two pink champion sweaters. I found one at the thrift store for like eight bucks, so I was like, I need it, although I already have one, but they're slightly different, so I'm gonna keep them both. Be mad. This I just got off Depop. I think it's so cute. It's an express sweater. It goes with like all my plaid pants so perfectly. Cute. They're so comfy and oversized just for like tossing on and going in public when you look shitty, so I'm sorry, gonna keep those both. For now, I'm ashamed to learn merch, keeping it. To be honest, I don't wanna keep this because I don't wear it, but it was so expensive, I'm just gonna keep it. Our heart hoodie, really, really like the color. I don't wear it because it's like, it's too big for me. I don't know why I got it, but I wanted this so bad and it's so cute, so I'm gonna keep it. This is my favorite hoodie of all time. I barely wear it, but it's the new SpongeBob collab with Teddy Fresh and it's so sick. Do not know why I got this. I may crop it, but like, whatever. I'm gonna alter that. The bunnies, I gotta keep. This is my dicky sweatshirt and I really love it. And I'm gonna keep it because it's so comfy. This, this is like one of my holy grails. It says, don't cross my path. And it's Tweety Bird on Halloween and it glows in the dark, so keep. Don't know why I have this. It's a plain neon pink Gildan hoodie and I don't need it, so donate. <laughs> so, jacket. I have so many, but this one's reversible. Fine, I'll keep it. This is my vintage Lee denim jacket. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. I found it at a vintage store. Keep 
forever. This I just got and I need to figure out how to wear blazers. This is just a lined Carhartt jacket. I don't like it. It's too big for me and I don't wear it, but I found it at a thrift store and I was like, that's so cute. I think I'm gonna sell it. Another blazer, keep. Black denim jacket. I think I'm gonna keep it and alter it because I could make it look super cool. It's another just good to toss on over things jacket. I don't need it, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. Classic signature, keep. I just got this. So beautiful. I have to keep that one. This is a matching set. I'll show you the pants later, but I'm gonna keep it. My mom got me this for Christmas, but I feel bad getting rid of it because I love my mommy. So I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna try to wear that someday. Kind of reminds me of like the 70s vibe, just like cool outerwear. And I don't wanna keep it, but I wanna try to figure out how to wear it before I get rid of it. This is my favorite. It's just a little corduroy number, emerald green. So cute keeping. You know what? It's cute. I live in Minnesota. I need jackets. So I'm going to keep it even though I shouldn't. This is also an impulse buy, but you have to admit how cool it is. And I'm keeping it, by the way. Like, what? It's a vintage full body snowsuit. Just in case. Wind pants. They're so cute and I just can't bear to part with them. Okay, you know what? I'm not getting rid of any of my sweatpants, but I'll show you just for the video's sake. Brandy Melville. Also Brandy Melville, but pink! Pink is my color. Just decided that. Adidas. Comfy for when you want to be cute and lazy, I guess. These I should get rid of, but they- okay, it's stained from dyeing my hair if you've watched either of my dyeing hair videos. There's hair dye on them, but they're so cute! So cute. And the sad thing is, I can I can not even reach the top of my pile, so it's like, I need, something needs to be done. These, Tommy Hilfiger cargo, they're little boy jeans, but they fit me perfectly. They're so cute for like skating and stuff. Keep. <laughs> they're also little boy jeans, but they have like a super cool like patch on the back. I'm gonna sell them because I just like, I don't see myself wearing them. So these are my apple bottom jeans. I like just found them. I keep telling myself, like, maybe someday you will enjoy wearing low-rise jeans. And I won't. I know that. So I think I'm gonna try to sell these. Good basic, just some black, like, carpenter, painter type jeans. I love them. These are so thick. Don't know what this brand means, like, Johnny Blaze Flame, but they're sparkly. And I wanted to try to get, like, a cool pick in them. But anytime I try to, like, I just don't, I don't look good from the back. Okay, fine. I'll sell them. A button fly. Super cool. In the back, super cool. I'm gonna get rid of them. Don't know why I got these. Another pair of little boy jeans, cargo. I used to be obsessed with like cargo jeans. I still kinda am, I like them, but I really don't need them. We'll try to sell them. They fit me like perfect in the waist. Um, and I really like the wash, but there's stains on them. Oh, maybe I could distress them or something. So I'm gonna alter those. Definitely a go-to for me. They're Unif Timmy jeans. I love them so much, but I stained them and the stain won't come out. I'm still gonna keep them. These, I was so psyched when I found them because they fit me absolutely perfect in the waist. Uh, they're vintage e mud jeans with like the bell bottom. I would have loved these when I was like seven, but and I still like them now. Like, I just never wear them. I think, I think I'm gonna turn these into like patchwork jeans or something. Maybe I'll just keep them. So for now, I'm just gonna put them in, in the keep pile. These are just plain, regular, tapered Brandy Melville jeans. They're a super good basic to have, so I'm gonna keep those. This is my favorite pair of jeans in the whole world. They're Rocky Mountain jeans and they have this little flap. So, so cute. No pockets in the back. We'll never get rid of these. Mark my words. I'll be honest, I don't like the fit of them. So I'm gonna put in my dill or my cell pile, but I don't know what's gonna happen with those. My new, I just got these baby fat little jeans. I'm gonna keep them just because I think they're so cool. Just basic Hollister um, mom jeans. I wear them to work like almost every day. These are vintage Lees. Just got them. I like them, so I'm gonna keep them. Also vintage Lees. <laughs> keep, I just got them. Dickies, except they're a little big in the waist and they're skinny. I'll sell them. This is the only pair of skinny jeans I own. Not much to say. Unif Timmy jeans, love them, keep them. This is a pair of basic mom jeans, but I cut out the knee and the butt, and I think they're super cute, so I'm gonna keep those. 
another pair of vintage Lees, but these ones, they make me really self-conscious because the hip is so big and I already have like bigger hips than I want. No, that's weird to say. I'm gonna sell those. Just got these. They're vintage, uh, what, Pendleton? Really like them. Need to wear them more actually, so cute. These are got at a vintage store. They're super cool, like bell bottom. Definitely keeping those. Three different pairs of like Brandy Melville plaid pants. I have a fourth one. They're full of cat hair at the moment, so don't know where they are, but I'm gonna keep all of these just cause like, they're kind of a staple for me. These super cute Minka London brand, another one of my favorite brands. Keeping them, I want more, but they're so expensive. I just like randomly found, but they're a super cute pattern and they're kind of bell bottom like the other ones and they fit me really well, so cute. And then these are the matching bottoms to the suit top, but they don't fit me in the waist very well, so I wanna alter them so they can fit me, so I'll alter. First I'll do my corduroys. These I just got and I wanted to like tie-dye them. These I would get rid of but they fit me to a T. Like my curves, beautiful in these. So cute. These also, the waist is so tiny. They're like Gitano brand in super cool color. The waist literally goes but like it looks so good. These I just got but I want to use them as a pattern for more stretchy corduroy pants so i'm gonna keep them and they're so comfy like why get rid of them here lee the classic like chunky super chunky lees love those they're not corduroy but they're like suede super comfy very not flattering but comfy also mingo london very cute need to wear them more but i'm gonna keep them and this is my other pair of rockies i love them so much the waist is so tiny it just makes me look really great, no pockets again, and the bottom is cut, so they're kind of like a skater jean. Really, really cute. I have no idea what these are, but I found them, and I was just like so intrigued by the butt patch. This kind of ripped off, which is sad, but they fit me perfectly, so I'm gonna keep them. These I found at a vintage store, and I was like, probably won't wear them, but like, they're just white, sleek, just like classy pants. I don't know why I'm gonna wear these, but I need to find a reason to. Trip NYC pants. I would so rock these, but they don't fit me. Like, they really don't fit me. I think I'm gonna sell them. I'm so sorry. This I bought to alter it, so I'm gonna put that in the alter pile. It's so cute, silky. Gotta keep that. I love this so much. Just a plain white tennis skirt. Cute. I love this. Got it in the little girl section. Another tennis skirt, but like, these. So the one I have on, I'm obviously keeping. These are all Brandy Melville skirts, by the way. Um, the Kara skirt. I'll show you this. It's a really, really nice fit. I think they're so cute, so I'm probably gonna keep them all, but this one's a little pink one. This one is super cute for the fall. I try to not get, like, repeat colors, even though they're all really cute. This one is also really cute for the fall. A little, like, little pop of purple in there makes it extra cute. This purple one is so cute. I think I'm gonna wear it on Easter. Really cute. And then this one's a little different. It's one of those like wrap skirts. This one is from Forever 21. Kind of similar to those. I guess I'll get rid of it. Maybe you'll see me in it someday, maybe on my Instagram, but I made this set. I forgot to take a before picture, so that's so sad. But this was a vintage like midi skirt, like it went to my knee and now it's a top. Ugh, stay and a bottom. But the bottom is so tiny, so I can't wear it anywhere, which is really sad. Hey, I also made this. It's super cute. I wore it on New Year's. It definitely needs to be ironed, but cute. I just have this because it's orange and I feel bad getting rid of it, but it's like a vintage, almost to the knee skirt, kind of school girly. Really cute. I have no idea why I bought this, but it's just a green corduroy skirt. I definitely am getting rid of it because I don't wear it, but it's really cute. And then, I have two vintage skirts. This one, also kind of long, definitely down to my knee. Here's the other one, by the way. A little longer goes down to below my knee. I'm gonna put both of these in the altar pile, and I hate to say it, but I'm gonna try to shorten them because otherwise I won't wear them. All right, shorts and leggings. I have one pair of plain black leggings. I'm gonna keep those because I like, I need to, but I hate wearing leggings. It makes me so self-conscious and I don't know why. These I made. If you haven't seen the video, go watch it, silly. But I'm gonna keep them. I guess I have another pair of leggings. They make me feel like an 80s um, 
workout video instructor, so I'm gonna keep them. I love these so much. These little pink, pink little shorts. Super cute, gotta keep them. Also love these. Uh, they're Rocky Mountain. I think they used to be jeans and someone cut them into shorts, but they're so cute and they're like the perfect length. These my mom gave me, so you know they're old. Just kidding, my mom's kinda young, but like, you know what I mean. They're from the 90s, mud jeans. They're kind of big for me, but like, I can make them work. Also, there's a hole in the crotch, but like, who even cares? And then the bottom three doors are all my socks and undies and brazies, and I'm not gonna show you them. So next we're gonna just move on to my essentials rack, and then we'll be done. I'm not getting, in, getting I'm not getting rid of any of my shoes. So I'm just gonna show you them, kind of rapid style. Classic white Doc Martens, a thing. I need to get rid of these someday. They're the dirtiest shoes in the entire world, but my Air Force One's definitely a staple. I also need to get rid of these or clean them up and replace the laces, but these are just my chucks. Uh, they're Comme de Garçons, cute. These are just some Jeffrey Campbell platforms. I love them so much. I wish that I got the boot kind, but still cute. These I found second hand, but they're like, they're square toe. Perfect size heel. I need these for like weddings and junk, I guess. Then these are my bear paw boots. They're really cool. They're also like warmers. Orange Converse. Orange is my favorite color. They're so clean because I rarely wear them because I'm scared to get them dirty. Yacht Club Vans. Just, I, I love the colors of them. So cute. Uh, my Air Maxes. Definitely a lot uh, cleaner than my Air Ones. Black Cherry Vans. I literally got the last pair in the store and haven't been able to find them since so they're off they red checker vans i colored the stripe yellow i don't know why i did that and then my adidas superstars but they're pink on the bottom of the rack my docs these are both doc martin uh, coralia or coralia coralia whatever these i love i will never get rid of them i love them so much really cool and then my doc martin Jaden boots, which I also wear too much. This, I hate to say this, I'm keeping it because if I ever have to go to a funeral, it's like a really good funeral dress. And it's really cute. Just got this. It's super cute and the bottom's like lettuce hem, so I don't want to cut it out, but I want to shorten it. Next one is a little secret for one of my next videos, so I'm not going to show you. This, it's really so pretty. No reason to ever wear this, but I'm going to keep it because I want to wear it at least once. Next. This is so shiny and beautiful. I don't want to ruin it by shortening it. I know some beautiful woman or man could get way better use out of this. Like it's so pretty and it reminds me of like gothy type vibe. So I'm gonna sell it. I passed this up a few times in the thrift store and I like finally just caved. I need to wear this so bad. I just shaved my legs so I can wear my dresses and skirts and I'm proud. Both very impulse buys very shiny very pretty very don't need them but i'm gonna keep them i'm ashamed of this i didn't buy this for any reason other than to wear it on christmas and disappoint my mother <laughs> next christmas i will be wearing this ton of split dresses got this chocolate one it's so pretty i love the color keeping it this little one it has flowers on the titty I love it. And it's baby pink. This one, super wedding day chic. White with the lace on top. It's just really beautiful and flattering. And then this one, I just love the color. It's like pink and purple. That's so fun. One's a medium, one's an extra small, by the way. That's why they look so different. Both Unif sweaters. I love them both for different reasons. Two more unit sweaters, turtlenecks. This one's just a good, like, basic to have. And then this one is so sick. Like, any fruit you want, right on your shirt. Two of both Mango London tops. This one, super classic. And this one, just, like, kind of fun, so. Two tops Unif is just known for. This one's a Dylan top. This one's a Digit top. Uh, I love them both. And I definitely will be wearing them a lot this summer. This is good for layering. This I want to alter actually. I don't know why I put that over there. It's good for work, but I also want to like crop it and turn it into like a Brandy Melville type beat. So I'm gonna alter that too. This is a Brandy Melville type beat. 
but it's gray and it has a color I don't really like it and I probably won't wear it as much as I want to because I get really sweaty in gray. Okay, I get sweaty in every color it shows in gray, but I'm gonna try. So I did alter, I turned it into a little cardigan. Unif, really good, really cute just to toss on. Really no reason to have this, but it's like kind of cute, you know. And this, I got it off Depop, it's just like a vintage uh, little super crop. It hits right under the boob, it looks really great, so I'm gonna keep it. Everyone has this, including me. Bodysuit, really cute basic, has the underwire, like it really makes the titties look great. This I just got in a thrift haul. It's super cute. I want to alter it though because like I won't wear it as is. Maybe I could crop it or like something. This I did alter. I love it so much. It's so cute. This is a Unif knockoff. I think I'm going to donate it because like I literally barely ever wear it and it's so thin and like see-through. This I love and I need to... Oh, I did wear it once, but I want to wear it more. Good basic... Oh my goodness. Thanks. Uh, good to have. This one has a stain on the boob, which is sad, but still wearable. I wanted to be able to rock this. It's so cute, like a chocolate brown with a little overlay, sparkly, really gives me like 70s, just bad gal vibe. My boobs aren't big enough, so I, I guess I'll get rid of it. I don't know why I have the same top twice. This one's high neck and this one's not, and this one's thicker and this one's thinner, blah blah, really. I don't need either of these, but I like to wear them. A couple more basic tanks. This is very sought after. Like, it wasn't this exact top, but this pattern top, I've seen it sell on Depop for like almost $100. I have no idea why. I'm not gonna sell it though, because it looks really great on me and I like to, I like to wear it. This, it's just a classic, but it's so pretty. It's two tops. This one, it's really not flattering on me because I don't have boobs, so it makes me look kind of flat. Uh, I keep trying to wear it, but I just can't do it, so I'm gonna sell it. And this, I love so much, I need to wear it more. It's a Unif Tink Tank. Tink Tank? I think that's what it's called. Very cute. Very, very fuzzy. Y'all know what this is. And if you don't, watch my Swift Flip video, because this is my two-piece set that I made that I will keep. I'm not gonna show these, because it's kind of hard to take them off, but just a bunch- Whoa! <laughs> a bunch of, like- I used to have way more, I don't know where they all went, but tube tops. Some bandanas, hair scarf things that I can't figure out how to wear, but I will someday. These are my skirts. Well, okay, these are my favorite skirts. My Unif Daria skirt, purple, sparkly, my favorite item in my closet. Cal's, actually, horse print skirt. I made that. Very flattering and cute. And then there's a paper towel because I don't want them to stick together, I guess. Unif Gia skirt, just leather. Really cute and flattering. And that, my good peeps, is everything. I'm gonna clean up my mess. I'm gonna show you one more time. So, here, let me get a better angle on this. Keep. This is waist high. Alter. Donate. Oh yeah, my keep pants. You can, it, I'm bad at angles here, but. It's already long, so I don't want to make a long outro and like, you know, blah, blah, blah. But one last look at my makeup. Really cool. I'm not trying to be cocky. I just like it, okay? Anyway, that's it for the video. Uh, if you made it this far, you are amazing. You are resilient. I don't know what half the big words mean, so I need to stop using them. But you're awesome. You were super awesome. Comment that little dress emoji, the teal one with the, the one that's shaped like that. Comment that if you made it this far because... I love you, and I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Please, safe and healthy. Um, that's pretty much it. I love you, and I will see you next time.